an understatement of the year to say this has been a wild week for you. Um, just like if take me through what this week looked like in you know just from Wednesday to today, I guess. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's been a wild week. There's no doubt. Um, you know, went to the first day of practice, and you know Trevor obviously didn't feel well, and he went in immediately. Um, got tested and you know after practice heard that boom he was positive so that's one and then uh, I'm losing track of days but was it yesterday maybe two days ago yeah two days maybe was it yesterday Taysom gosh yeah so it was yesterday uh, you know Taysom actually called me so um, he called me and said hey did you hear the news I tested positive so just boom boom two days in a row and I can count so I knew I was the last one Okay, I guess, uh, Ian, can you just talk about where you are now is, you know, the last time we talked to you was probably in training camp, learning the offense and still getting up to speed and figuring things out. Just maybe the evolution from, from then to now and how much more prepared you feel uh, about taking the reins and getting this opportunity. Yeah, I think last time we talked was getting ready for, yeah, training camp, getting ready for that Baltimore game. You know, I got to play the second half. Um, I feel a, lot, a ton better. That, that feels like it was so long ago. Um, Taking them every time there was a rep, I got to take it mentally. So add up all those reps, I got to do it mentally. Um, you know, never got to do it with the ones, obviously. But every single time they were doing it and watching film, you just gotta envision that it's you out there and hear those reads over and over until it's really ingrained in your mind. And I do feel a lot better. Uh, coaches have done a great job getting with me and getting me all set up. And um, it's just time to go out there and do it. Amy. This probably isn't how you envisioned your first start, um, but has it set in yet that, you know, obviously some things could change between now and then, but yeah. this could be happening for you? Every day, just taking it day by day. We're getting all, obviously getting closer to Monday night, but I'm not going to play with my mind and say, you know, maybe they come back in time. I'm, I'm starting at this point. I'm playing. I plan on playing, and we'll, we'll kind of go from there. Um, that's what I got to do this whole entire week to get ready. You can't just flip that switch on, you know. Monday morning trying to get ready. It doesn't work like that, especially at the quarterback position. That's what I've learned, and that's what I've learned, you know, talking with all these other quarterbacks this year. You know, I talked to Trevor with it when he was playing. You know, you got to take it the whole week seriously because you never know. And, um, you know, I was the fourth quarterback on the list. You wouldn't expect things to happen like this, but with COVID, you never know. So just taking it and uh, trying to get a routine has been tough because you can't get into the building, but every day I'm just getting up early and I'm studying. You know, I'm, I'm learning as much as I can. Um, definitely like on pen and paper it, was, it felt really good just to get out here today to walk through it I needed these reps and I told the coaches I need these walkthrough reps and um, it, it was awesome I need to see it and picture it and uh, it's coming through it's going to be a good week and I'm excited it's an unbelievable opportunity is what it is Uh Hey Ian obviously you played a lot of big games at, uh, at Notre Dame I mean I guess how excited are you for just the Monday night atmosphere, you know, full world watching, that kind of thing? I'm going to be pretty buzzed, yeah. I uh, I don't know what it's going to feel like. I've played in big games, but I think this is the biggest, obviously. You know, this is, we're professionals now, and it's Monday night football. And I grew up watching primetime football since I was a little kid. And uh, it's a dream, It's an, and I'm just going to keep telling myself um, what a great opportunity. Um, there's a million excuses out there is what I'd say and we're going to use none of them because we got to go out there and play we're all professionals and when your name's called you got to go out there and perform so uh, just excited I want to go out there the main thing for me is I want to go out there have fun move on to the next play and, and play with speed you know don't go out there thinking all the time that's going to slow down my process and just got to go out there and play have fun it's football Todd Walker Hey, and has, has Drew or any other, have any other quarterbacks like reached out to you and just sort of giving you some advice about being on this big stage uh, no, no, Drew has not, but I've got, I think I have like 200 texts. I'm just going to have to get to those a little bit later. I'm trying to focus, but uh, I got a lot of, I got a good support group. Got people texting me that, you know, I did, wouldn't think would text me. It's pretty cool to see that they're, you know, they're tuned in and they're watching and it's a big stage and, um, you know, my family will be in town and my brother was in boot camp in the military. He happens to be off this weekend, coming down here regardless. And now I'm starting. So it's kind of timing out pretty good. Luke? Well, I guess I got to ask what, what branch of service your brother's in? 
Uh, he's in the army, so he was doing boot camp in uh, Fort Benning, Georgia, and he gets uh, just finished boot camp and uh, timed out awesome. So he's here, and they're pumped to see. Well, he's pumped to see his first game and watch me run out there. Awesome. Um, hey, hey, just out of curiosity, I, I know you said you haven't had a chance to go through all those texts, but um, Brian Kelly's right down the road now. Um, he's one <laughs> of them. Talked to him, have you talked to him at all about about this uh, this opportunity for you? Yeah, he shot me a text earlier this morning. He'll be there in the box watching the game and, um, you know, wish me luck. And I told him, same to him, obviously, for getting the new job. Excited for him. And, you know, he told me he'd want me to come uh, to Baton Rouge whenever I can get some free time and, and talk with the quarterbacks a little bit and just kind of see what he's got going on over there. So excited for him, and he'll be there, and he'll be in the box um, on Monday night. Doug Mouton. Yeah, and would you expect in this offense to be doing some of the things that Taysom Hill did in the running game? Is some of that in your skill set? I'd love to be as good of a runner as Taysom and hurdle people. Um, but no, I mean, I have a little bit of that in my game. There's no doubt, you know, and I watched Taysom this whole entire year run around. He's someone that I look up to and just the way he, his process, the way he, other than just running, you know, the way he attacks the game. I'm trying to do that this week, and obviously got, there's a lot of things in the way with COVID, but you know, I try to be like Taysom, and um, you know, I think scrambling around a little bit when I need to is uh, is going to be huge. Um, I don't know about any quarterback powers. We'll see. I guess we'll have to see Monday night. Amy? Uh, what a what a fun uh, Christmas present for you, um, but back to Taysom. Has he said anything to you about you know this opportunity and you know giving you some advice about you know how to move forward with this yeah actually every quarterback has Jameis reached out sent me a nice note you know Trevor called me Taysom called me so it's been pretty cool just go out there and play football have fun um you know we always say stay ready I've been joking with Taysom all, or with Trevor all year we always say stay ready every time you see each other and you know now we're at this point so they're excited for me you know I wish them well and hope they get better soon um, but um, they've sent me some good notes and some good points on what I need to do to focus and get locked in and um, kind of the three key they've each given me a few keys just to get ready for this game and things to focus on that time for a couple more Luke Johnson yeah, Ian if, if you could did you say you found out about this whole thing from a text from Taysom saying he tested positive like that was how you figured you were going to start um, yeah that was yeah, the coaches reached out right after, but once Taysom test positive, he called me immediately and said, hey, did you hear the news? I already knew what that meant. So, yeah, I heard from Taysom um, that he, you know, tested positive, and like I said, I did the math there pretty quickly. Last question here, Fletcher. Do you have to have, like, a, a different level of preparation given the fact that you're not going to have a, a veteran quarterback there with you on the sideline. I mean, you'll have Pete there, and Sean will be coaching the game, but, I mean, Blake just got here. So does that kind of add an extra layer of you knowing that, hey, it's me, and I'm like an army of one here right now? Yeah, it might feel like that a little bit, but just coming out here today, I got this whole team, you know, behind me. feel like all these guys got my back, and just to uh, hear everyone and, you know, how excited they are that I get a chance is pretty cool. Um you know, I feel like I've been on the Saints for longer than I have. You know, I'm getting close with these guys. and um, I, But I see what you're saying. You know, I haven't even thought about that. So getting off on the sideline, I'll be right there with RC and with Pete and, you know, with Blake now. And, shoot, Blake's played for a long time. He's, he's got a lot of starts under his belt. I want to hear from him as well. And, but at the end of the day, I know what i got to do. Um, you know, it's obviously the NFL, and, you know, I haven't had a start or played in it yet. But I know what i got to do at the, at the quarterback level to win this game. Appreciate your time, Ian. Thank yep. you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.